Hey now, I'm Wit. Welcome back to the channel. Today, another watch from one of my favorite brands, Boulder Supply Company. This is the Odyssey Freediver WB1985. Look at this thing. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I don't know why Boulder isn't even more popular than they already are. I mean, this is just a, an extremely great build, as is always the case with Boulder. Uh, I actually own the uh, Boulder Odyssey 45, and this is probably my most worn watch, my one of my favorites. Uh, and look at it, so it's just got the same case, you know, but it's got a slimmer profile, and uh, you see they've uh, scalloped the edge here of the bezel, so it's got a little bit of a thinner uh, look to it as well. It's a slimming effect. <laughs> it's like wearing black. <laughs> I mean, I think I'll go out on a limb and say that they really have improved the wearability of this watch. Again, one's a 500 meter diver and the other is a 300 meter, but uh, man, if you don't need that extra oomph, this is a very slick watch. So it's 44 millimeters in diameter. You've got a 52 millimeter lug to lug span and 22 millimeter lug width. Uh, it's 12.5 millimeters in thickness if you measure just the case, uh, but then from the bottom to the top of that domed sapphire crystal, you've got 14.5 millimeters. It weighs 196 grams on the supplied bracelet, and if you wear it on the supplied drubber, this is their FKM strap, it's a beauty too, look at this, uh, then it only weighs 132 grams. This is a 316L stainless steel case with satin brushing throughout and uh, polished chamfers. It's got a multi-layer dial. The center is kind of a smoky, translucent uh, dial, gradient uh, being darker from the outside to the center. Um, surfboard handset, I mean, that's what I call it, right? Doesn't that remind you of a, a nice longboard? It's a 120-click unidirectional bezel. And you've got uh, BGW9 blue luminescence at the uh, bezel triangle, and then again at the 5, 10, and 15 markings. And this bezel is swappable with the uh, Freediver GMT bezel as well. So if you happen to own both of those, you can uh, swap out the bezels. Like I mentioned, a domed sapphire crystal with uh, multiple layers of anti-reflective coating on the underside. You get a signed screw down crown, 8.5 millimeters in diameter uh, with some awesome knurling, just such uh, easy to uh, grab and manipulate. It's a screw down case back and Boulder went with an exhibition case back this time. Uh, this is sapphire crystal on the back side as well. And it's got a little bit of a uh, kind of a frosty uh, artwork on it uh, on the underside. So you see this uh, kind of wave pattern. Uh, so it limits your view of the movement just a little. The specs on the case back list out automatic, sapphire, Boulder Odyssey, free diver, 300 meters, 990 feet. Uh, and then you've got your individually numbered piece. And you see the bracelet's got the quick release spring bars and so does the FKM drubber strap, which is also included uh, with the watch. This is a great fit too. You can see that the uh, strap is fitted to the watch. Uh, so you've got that integrated uh, rubber strap look. Two keepers, one floating and, well, they're two floating, but uh, one is held in place with uh, little holding pins there. So you can slide that out. You could get rid of them if you want. Nice oversized buckle with some great finishing on it. Uh, the boulder signature there. And I like that they put the holes nice and close together. I mean, again, this is FKM, so it's nice and durable. You don't risk anything by them being close, but uh, you get a great fitment. This Odyssey Freediver is running the Miyota 9015 automatic movement, 9000 series, one of my favorites. Uh, 28,800 vibrations per hour or four hertz. Uh, you got 24 joules, 42 hours of power reserve. Uh, it's got a stated accuracy of minus 10 to plus 30 seconds per day. I tracked this one by hand over 29 days and it came in at plus 5.5 seconds per day. And after just one pass through and one position, dial up, you see that story is kind of corroborated. Uh, plus three seconds per day, oh, now five seconds per day. Uh, amplitude of 295 degrees and a beat air of 0.3 milliseconds. Okay, now that I've laid out all this boulders badassery, it's time to tell you my likes and dislikes. So the first dislike is actually the only. The bezel, um, it's, you know, uh, again, awesome looks. I love that little mid uh, slice they did through it, uh, you know, scallop edge here. But you'll see that it doesn't stick out from the edge of the case very much. And then same thing here where the end links uh, kind of integrate in. 
you, there's just not a good spot to get a nice purchase on it. Um, so it's a little tough to spin. If your hands are kind of like, you know, real silky dry, you know, good luck. So you got to kind of push down on towards the top of the bezel rather than, you know, using that uh, kind of built-in knurling that's on the side. So uh, it's a little tough. Uh, but, I mean, if that's what we're going to, you know, be mad about, forget it, man. This is just, uh, it's an awesome watch. And the bezel clicks are nice and positive. Uh, it's got a great sound to it. Uh, you definitely can feel each indentation, and it lines up just nice. All right, I'm going to get all fanboy on you now with my likes. Again, this case. I told you that I own the Boulder Odyssey 45. Love that case. And this is essentially uh, a thinned down or um, a little less drastic of an angular case. I mean, it's still got all the angles and everything, but it's just a smaller uh, proportion. Um, just not quite as beefy. And it is absolutely stunning. Uh, I mean, you see from all different angles, it's just got this great, bold, if you will, masculine look. And I mentioned a little bit ago, but this crown is just awesome. That knurling, the size, it's so easy to grip. It's one of the best crowns in the business. And how about that handset, huh? It's bold and stylish. Uh, you can definitely tell what time it is very easily. Uh, from uh, all different angles and distances. Uh, that orange is just stellar. And like I said, it kind of reminds me of a surfboard. You want to jump on there and just ride that dial. <laughs> and speaking of dial, can't decide between a white dial or a black dial? You can have both. Look at this black and white color combination. You've got all that killer contrast. Uh, and again, it's going to go with many of your attire because it's black and it's white. And this date window is absolutely a favorite. I love a circular date window. Uh, so this being at the 430 spot and having that uh, white uh, circle around the date window opening just adds a nice little pop. And then you've got your numerals in white to contrast against that black portion of the dial. Just beautiful. Now, another beauty is this bracelet. You see that it's faceted, and it's got um, brushing throughout, but then high polish where those facets are. So they dive down into the bracelet. See if you can get you a shot there. So that is the section that is polished right there as it slants down. So when that's all together, you get this a little appearance of polish between the brushing. On my Odyssey 45, it's pretty much the same bracelet, but there's no polishing there, so it just takes on more of a um, overall flat look. But then here, you add a little splash. Not much, but just a little fling of bling. <laughs> Sticking with the bracelet, the quick release, they're very easy to deploy and put back on the watch head. Uh, everything locks into place very easily. You're not fumbling around with it and wishing that it was a uh, traditional spring bar. And there are six micro adjusts, so it's very easy to get your custom fit with this bracelet. And remember, you also get the included Drubber FKM strap. This thing is so comfortable, and you can see it's not just a, you know, basic strap. In fact, I think these are like $100 if you want to buy them separately uh, on their website. So you get it included with uh, your watch head and uh, bracelet as well. Uh, but it's just got a nice integrated look fits to the lugs almost seamlessly, you know, for a, uh, a rubber uh, strap to go up. You know, you can tell it's custom for this watch. You don't find that at this price point a lot, to tell you the truth. Uh, it's got a premium buckle. And again, like I mentioned, the holes are close together, so you get a nice fit. And what I love about it is uh, including the uh, FKM drubber and the bracelet is it allows you to very easily dress up or dress down the free diver. Now, you know we're not getting out of here without talking about the loom. Look at this. <laughs> this thing is a blowtorch. All of that white section uh, that you saw in the daytime just glows super bright. This is Swiss Super Luminova BGW9. This blue all throughout is just a beautiful hue. And uh, man, when you get that daylight charge from the sun or other uh, artificial light, and then it pops at you at night. You're just like <laughs> a little smile across your face. I'm a loom junkie, and I found this thing to just be a beautiful uh, display of luminescence. I mean, really, right now, I'm just kind of stalling 
so I can show you more loom shots. <laughs> Availability on the Boulder Odyssey Freediver WB1985. Uh, remember, it comes with the uh, bracelet and the FKM drubber strap. And then, of course, you get this nice uh, kind of Pelican-style case. It's definitely heavy-duty. Uh, this is not like one of those uh, AliExpress uh, cases. I mean, if for some reason you, <laughs> you wanted... I mean, it's got the pressure uh, release valve there. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know what you would really practically use it for you know as far as like needing that waterproofness and that kind of thing but it's a cool case watch goes here and then you've got your uh, warranty card etc information there by the way if i didn't point it out see this is not a crack on the back side of the uh the clasp this is part of their you know topography uh, kind of logo if you will so all of that for $7.99 US, uh, that's about 626 pounds or 728 euros. Uh, and then you've got a 30-30 guarantee with Boulder Supply Company. Uh, if you don't like it within 30 days, return it for your money back. Uh, and if you do like it and keep it, then you've got a 30-month warranty from the delivery date. Man, I might have finally found a watch to upstage my Boulder Odyssey 45. This is the Odyssey Freediver WB1985. What are your thoughts? Give me your uh, comments down below. And hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. I'll catch you in the next one. I'm Wit with so many watches, so little time and money.